Hello, hello. <laughs> I'm looking like you and you're looking like me today. Uh, yeah. You got the mermaid uh, on? Can, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I do. Good. I can hear you now. Yes. Okay. There was like a slight little delay. Okay. Please introduce us to yourself. Hey, what's up? I am Merman Achilles and I am a content creator online, everywhere online pretty much. So, yeah, um, that's me. What's up? I'm a real life okay, Merman, so man, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so what got you started wanting to be a merman in the first place? Well, oh, before I go into that story, there are black mermaids, okay? I heard what you were saying earlier, and they do get their hair wet, okay? So they're actually pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, so, um, uh, well, what got me started into this? Well, you've ever heard of Wiki Wachi, right, Springs? The ones that have the mermaids, it's like a theme park with mermaids in it. So I've gone to Wiki Wachi Springs, like, um, maybe about, um, I want to say two years ago, I went and I was really interested. I've always loved mermaids, okay? So, but I, nobody ever thinks of it as a job, as a profession or anything. It, you, nobody really knows that that's what it is or that it can be. And um, so I was at Wiki Wachi Springs and I, something was like clicked into my mind. I went home, I went online and I started researching and I got really interested. And then it went back to the back of my head again. And then I forgot about it. And then last year I went in July, I went to Wiki Wachi Springs again for some somebody's birthday and um we it was like something like struck inside of me and I was like man like I really really want to do this so like I went home and I started checking online I went and I purchased my first merman tail which um you know it's not easy everybody thinks it's easy because you know you just throw it on and jump in the water it's really not you have to be a good swimmer in order you know because your your legs are literally tied together you know so you have to the form of swimming is totally different you know and um <clears throat> so but once I left Wiki Wachi that day I was like no I have to do this so I went and got my first merman tail and now I'm kind of on the way you know to try to get my certifications I got certified for basic life support um a few months back and then you know um these upcoming months I'm gonna just keep taking more certifications in order to get me certified certified so I could be professional right now I'm not a merman I'm a mer boy I call myself a mer boy so but I'm on the way what what, what got you interested in, in mermaids uh mythology in the first place well, um, I want to, uh, well, I guess our obvious reasons are like the little mermaid and splash. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but splash was like one of my big, my favorite movies when I was, when I was just a little girl, that was one of my favorite, <laughs> it was one of my favorite <laughs> movies. So, um, you know, when I, you know, you, you see it and then when you I can actually be like, oh, well I can be this, it changes the whole aspect of, you know what I mean? It's like, be, makes that fantasy into reality i'm like a like some it may when i'm in that mermaid tail i'm like a mythical creature that comes alive to everyone around me and it's pretty dope you know what i mean like it really especially for children but even adults get you know like mesmerized by you know by it so it's pretty awesome what what did you do as a child athletically nothing like what sports did you do nothing no, um, really? no, no, athletically, I would say, um, no, I mean, I played around with, you know, I just did your normal play around in the park with my friends and stuff like that. Never really, um, I wasn't really into sports, you know, to be honest with you, I'm still kind of not, I root for the team that has the nicest color outfit, you know what I <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, same, same. You feel me? <laughs> like, I don't know them. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm like, okay, the guys in the red, you know, they got the cuter outfits, so I'm going to go for them, you know. <laughs> but I've never really been a sport, sportistical type of person, ever. The reason I ask is because it looks like it's so much core strength when you're swimming. So what do, what do you do to, to train, to train, I, I guess is the right way, phrasing, when, when, you're, when you're in your mer merman zone? Well... I, you, well, as you know, I do work out. So like physically mm -hmm. I do work out, I run and I go to the gym, um, about anywhere from like four to six times a week. So I do work out. So that mm -hmm. has helped. And, and it's really more of, um, 
like it gets tiring after a while obviously but yeah. because the way you're doing it is more of a you know when people are swimming they're using everything and i'm literally trying to make my body into one and just like imagine my body going like that but you're like a snake literally so you're just going up and down the whole entire body literally that's how you try to do your body so like your stomach gets a, a hell of a workout you know what i mean and um it's really good for that and actually people people do it for fun for exercises too because you know why Water exercise is really good, so um, it's a good form of water exercising as well, especially for your core. As far as prepping goes, I just practice a lot in the water. You know, like I've tried to just put on my tail and you know and and go ham. You know, as much as I can. I run a lot, so thank God that does help. You know, as far as like you know for keeping up and staying staying up with things. You know what I mean? So I could hang for a while now. <laughs> Have you ever tried jumping out the water? Have I ever tried jumping out of the water? No, because it's really difficult. I uh, I have. I've tried to do a handstand, like where you put your hands in. You know how you normally do a handstand in the pool with your feet? Simple, yeah, right? Yeah. Simple as hell. With a tail, it's not so simple at all. Because like when you when you propel the water when you propel your feet out of the water, you're you know, remember the thing is flat. So you're lifting a whole bunch of water. So by the time you flap up all that water, it flaps over to the other side. You know what I mean? So you're like yeah. trying to balance. It's really, really hard to do that. And I have seen it done before. I just can't personally do it myself. But when when you do see it done, you're like, damn she bad, because you know that's not easy. <laughs> Do. <laughs> you feel me? So talk to us, talk to us about Mermagicon. Okay, so Mermagicon is actually a mermaid convention that I'm going to be attending for my first time in March in a few weeks. Um, I have never been to a convention before. Like I said, I just got started with all of this last year, so I'm fairly new to the game. But what a lot of people don't know that is that there's a whole mermaid community out there, amazing mermaid community. Everybody's super welcoming and very nice. And um, they have uh, mermaid meetups. Like we have mermaid meetups in like springs and places like that, which is really Really awesome and then they have um um mermaid conventions all over the world they have um like uh uh everywhere they have all sorts of ones so one of the biggest ones is mermagicon and it's in virginia in march and i'll be attending that and i'm, I'm super excited because like we're going to be able to like i'm going to be able to learn things i'm going to be able to you know meet other mermaids i'm going to be able to network we'll be able to you know do things we do underwater photography you know take classes for it, all of that stuff so it's like a weekend of mermaid mania basically <laughs> so it's real it's going to be really exciting and really fun i got all my stuff i'm so decked out and ready 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 to go super stoked how, how, how many tails do you own i at this mo moment i own four tails my first one was like my beginner tail which i always tell everybody to never jump into like something professional because because you don't know what you're doing in the beginning so my first tail was just a regular flimsy regular normal like they call it a guppy tail because that's what it is it's like a beginner so and then i made two because I'm, I'm also a fashion designer so i can make clothes so i made two tails after that and then of my own that i have never swam in because i think they're just for pictures if you know what i'm saying so yeah, I, just, yeah. I just use those for design i don't you know they they're more intricate to make like professionally so i haven't thrown them in the water yet and then my fourth one that i just got is my professional professional tail well more professional which is a little more expensive it's made half of it's made of it's made of um the bottom part the fin part that you stick your feet into is made of silicone so it flops around and it's really hard and then the rest of it is made of the part that goes over my body is made of this um the thing that they use to um body suits to go into the water you know the the you know what I'm talking about. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. The type of fabric that they use, that's what it's made out of. It's just really designed really well. And then, you know, so it's like a very, very beautiful fabric, you know. So that's what, I, so now I have four tails. And I want a million. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk to people about how we know each other okay. in real life. Yeah. <laughs> so so we, we, we work together right now in the restaurant industry. And... I think everyone needs a coworker like John cuz like it's <laughs> it's scary but also like very fun. <laughs> yeah. He's like honestly like 
I look forward to going to work because I know that John and also Casey will, will be there. Yeah. Um, so, and you also, on your, in your content, you do a lot of rants about some pet peeves that you have about people. <laughs> what's, what's like your top three pet peeves about working in the restaurant industry? Oh my God. Okay. My, I hate rude people anywhere. I do not like rude people. Okay. So, um, he said, nah, John crazy. Oh yeah. John is crazy. <laughs> I like, <laughs> I hate rude people anywhere you go, especially if, if I'm waiting on you, I don't mind, you know, you know, the restaurant industry and all of that when I'm with nice people you know if i come across somebody who's rude and disgusting it automatically shuts me down like i can't i can't take it you know what i mean so my pet peeve is really you know mean and rude people that's my number one my number believe it or not that's my number one before not tipping because you know i'd rather i'd rather you just be nice you know what i mean because uh, you know i still want to tip i'm not gonna lie shit i need the money but you know like so that people who don't tip you know also is a huge pet peeve and um uh i want to say uh, what's a good one people who can't control themselves in public i don't like that like you know like whether it be with your kids or something like that like you i had a lady the other day who was like letting their child just go everywhere and i was just like lady like tie them to a wall or something like you know <laughs> get them together like i was ready to knock them out in his elbow you know what i'm saying <laughs> Oh, you want to hear something funny about my rants? So you said I do my rants online, right? Hilarious. Mm -hmm. I go on Snapchat one day, and this was when I used to do closing. So I close one night, and then um, I I um, I go on Snapchat, and I do this complete rant. And I was like, and I'm like, I can't believe these people don't want to leave. Like, the restaurant is closed. We're closing stuff around them. They don't even want to leave. This is so rude. How the fuck can they do this? Blah, blah, blah. So I leave. I go home. The next day, I come back to work. And then I go to one of my tables, and I'm like, hey, y'all, how y'all doing? And then the man, there's a, there's a husband and a wife, and then some kids. And then the husband goes, is this you? And he literally hits Snapchat. And the st I have put it on my, you know how you put it on the story that nearby yeah. so i had put it i had no I, I i forgot that everybody can see it so he hits the my story and then as soon as it comes on it's like these motherfucking people won't leave blah 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 and i'm like <laughs> so as soon as the video comes on i'm like oh my god i'm at the table and the whole family just starts laughing and dying and then he's like oh i think it's hilarious i think you were funny as hell he's like but i just wanted to make sure because my daughter is seeing you and she's like i think this is our server and i'm like yeah i am like, I'm so sorry. Like y'all caught me talking shit. <laughs> it was pretty it's bad. True, though. It's true though. It's so weird. I, I hate that. It's like y'all have nowhere else to be. You don't like being home. I like being home. You know. <laughs> Especially when it's like cold and rainy. Like I'd be like, why are these people out here? Like go home. What are you doing? <laughs> do you do you believe um do you believe in more money, more problems? I do and I don't in a way because um I believe that you have to have the mindset of having more money to get more money you know what I mean and then um so I don't want to say that more money more problems but I do want to say this like it's a lot more better to cry in a BMW than to cry outside in the rain right like so like you know what I mean I'd rather deal with the problems and have them work yeah. if that makes sense you know what I mean because like don't nobody want to be under the bridge you know I'd rather be in the BMW crying you know what I mean it's sad honestly so, why wipe my face with the dollar bills honey and I'm sure it'll make me happy you know what I'm saying right. so so I do I mean I'm I know that more money more problems that is true but I also think that if if you have the money, you can get rid of the, a lot of the problems. You know what I mean? So our, mm -hmm. unfortunately, society is built for, you know, a lot of the stuff that we need to survive and live on, you know, needs money, you know? So it's not like before when you can just, oh, let me trade, you know, this for this. You know what I mean? Like, we can't do that no more, you know? So, you know, so I do believe in it, but I don't, if that makes sense. You know, I'd rather deal with it. I believe in it, but I'd rather deal with it. <laughs> Honestly, honestly. Um, so what, with what happened this, this past couple of years with all the protesting, I'm sure that you saw what happened with the protesting in Ebor and in downtown Jacksonville. It turned into like lots of businesses going out of business. Do you think that we should stop protesting? 
I do not think that we should stop protesting. I do think that we need to protest in peace because there's a line between protesting and protesting um, or vandalizing and, you know, stuff like that. Because I, I witnessed it myself when I was here. Um, I live in, um, you know, well, we're in Tampa, Florida. And for those people who don't know, and um, we went to, I went to a, a peaceful protest that, you know, we were having a peaceful protest, walking up and down the streets for many hours. And then from one minute to the next, it literally changed into just chaos and then before you know it the you know the store down the street was on fire like every things were getting broken into and that's not what i signed up for you know what i mean because i don't think you can get i don't think you're i don't think you're portraying the correct message by by you know robbing the wig store you know what i mean because i literally yeah. witnessed it you know and i don't you know that to me doesn't that doesn't get the message across that just makes situations worse but as far as the protesting we do need to protest especially i don't know if you guys know what's going on in the whole entire world but you know unfortunately our freedoms right now are being you know taken in many 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 ways and um there and other sides of the world there's a lot of people who are actually fighting to prevent you know this from happening and people don't know that here because our our media is covering everything and if you pay that's why i tell everybody pay attention to the other side of the world because little by little you that stuff trickles down to where we're at right now and it is happening like i i can't tell you like in the beginning of when all this pandemic started happening i was like well what happens when this and what happens with that and our bosses were telling us oh no we live in america that'll never happen in america but it's happening in america America. And it's happening every day and faster and faster and more hardcore and more hardcore. And and because of that, yes, we do need a protest. We knew. Oh, my God. If you guys watch London, London Freedom Marches, um, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of people getting together. And I look at us and I'm like, where are we at? You know what I mean? Like, Honestly. you understand Honestly. what I'm saying? And I'm like, and, and if anybody knows people who, pro, you know, who go protest, do peaceful protest, like I said, or anything like that, like, please let me know. Cause I'm like, I would love to, you know, and join and do stuff like that because we do need to spread the message across, you know, that, you know, our freedom is our freedom. And if we, if we just lay down and let them have our freedom, we don't have anything else. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So uh, protest is very, very important. True, true, true. You um talk uh, often ish about um. You posted something I think a couple of years ago about how marriage isn't sacred anymore. Uh -huh. Um, I I know someone recently who's getting divorced and they and they just got married, and they're like, oh, it's okay. And I I don't know why it really irritated me. It really irked my spirit because I'm like, no, like this is supposed to be through sickness and through health. And like you just took advantage of it. So why, why do you think marriage isn't as sacred anymore? And then follow up question, why would you never get married? Okay, so I don't think sacred. I don't think it's sacred anymore because we've made it that way. Like we have literally, like you just said right now, those vows, those vows that people are taking are they're not taking them the way that they should. You know, I remember back in the days when our grandparents used to get married, and hell, they weren't even married by love. Some of them were married by you know um, tradition or stuff like that. And those you had to deal with whatever issue and problem you guys had. You know. You have 10, 15 kids, okay? And you you don't think, y'all think y'all got problems with two or three babies. You imagine having 10 or 15 kids with the same person, man or woman. You know, that's a whole lot more issues and more problems. But they dealt with it and they, you know, they, and 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 I feel like dealing with it and getting through it, you know, just like any, peop, any two people who have problems, when they deal with their problems, they become a little bit closer. So I believe in yeah. marriage, you know, all those issues and those problems that you guys have all those years will eventually get you to you know you, you know the love uh, hardcore you know your love will be hardcore and um so i think we have messed that up as far as like you know society throughout the times of allowing everybody to get divorced and just letting it be like oh you know oh it's nothing oh it's nothing instead of just work on it you know what i mean and the reason why i personally would not get married is because of that is because i want to get married forever you know i if if and when i do because i don't want to say i don't i do i have said i don't want to get married but i don't want to say i don't um, if I do, if and when I do find somebody who feels and thinks the way that I do, I would love to get married, you know, but I don't want to get married 
for you know for it's for a divorce i don't want to get married with a with a what do you call it the the prenup you know understand what i'm saying because you're already yeah, planning yeah, yeah. for a divorce like no like i want to get married and you know whatever issue we have whatever problems we have we're gonna deal with it like you're stuck with me like i'm not going nowhere like you understand what i mean and that's why i will at this mo moment in time i would not rap no i, I couldn't <laughs> Nin just said, um, people don't fight for others anymore. I feel you. Would rather give up and keep it moving. It's sad. It is really, yeah. It's really We give up very easily. It's very true. And you know, it's crazy because my, my, I had a, I had a, a, not to bring stuff up like that, but you people don't fight for that anymore. And that was an issue that I had with my ex was that, you know, when we were in a breakup point, I was like, I, I didn't, I was trying to, you know, fix things because I didn't, I wasn't in that point, you know, and they were thinking of something else, you know, which is completely heartbreaking. But, you know, because my mentality never went there, you know, my mentality was like, okay, we have an issue, but let's solve our issue, let's deal with our problems and then move on. And then I thought it would make us stronger and, you know, keep it, but it didn't work out. But that's why, you know, that's important. Like, you know, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, you got to keep okay. it pushing nowadays, like he said. Just keep it pushing. Unfortunately. Okay, this is a fun question. Would you fuck a robot? Oh, my God. How do you know I have it already? Ah! <laughs> girl, I got a robot in the back closet, girl. <laughs> no, um, I don't know. Like, I'm a freak. So, you know, um, I would try everything. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess, you know, it's funny because, um, you know, I'm not, I don't knock toys and stuff like that because, you know, they get the job done and stuff like that. But I do prefer to be with a human because I do like the human interaction, you know. So I think mm -hmm. that a robot would be a little bit weird because, um, you know, you're waiting for the human interaction. So that's my question. Is Yeah, I'll try it, but, you know, <laughs> I don't think I'll keep it for too long, you know. Or I'll throw them in the closet until my friend come and then we could all play with the robot. <laughs> <laughs> okay we're laughing now but i bet you like five years from now when that tesla bot comes out it's it's gonna be a thing um okay, girl, Ooh, okay. do you know that tesla bot gonna be fire girl <laughs> <laughs> okay okay i'm sure i don't i don't know if you've been following what's going on with kanye west right now um his life has been um falling apart since the the death of his mom um and now with the breakup with kim kardashian which we all know shouldn't have happened do you think kanye is a genius or a madman i think he's i think he's a i think he's both didn't y'all remember wasn't wasn't einstein considered to be crazy at some point you know what i mean like they thought he was insane mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, I thought they did, you know, because they didn't listen. I thought that they didn't understand or believe what he was trying to, you know, whatever, you know. So I think people who, who, I think he's a genius, but I think people, it's a fine line, you know what I mean? That, you know, well, life can make you crazy, period. So I don't first say think he's insane. I think the situations that he's going through is making him act crazy, but not really you know he's expressing his feelings he just everybody express their way their their way you know has their way of expression differently you know what i mean some people choose to shut off and not say nothing or not do nothing some people like mm -hmm. him rather just jump to the next one you know what i mean and he'd rather just you know do whatever he's doing and go crazy about it but i don't think he's crazy i actually think he's a freaking genius you know what i mean so and you know i mean he has to be with all this he's so he's such an influential person and he has been for such a long time so you can't knock him for that you know what i mean at all you know so hey go kanye i know he's just going through a, you know everybody goes through stuff you know so yeah. i think he just he'll be okay and you know this is a moment that he just has to go through whatever he has to go through you remember when, when you remember when Britney did all of that? Britney. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? So it's like I think everybody has these moments and especially celebrities. You have to realize that we all got to realize that we put celebrities into this 
into this this like pedestal but they are real people you know what i mean and they go through real things and and they go through even crazier things because like you said earlier the money you know they have more money they have more issues they got fast they got to deal with you know what i mean they got you know there's a lot of stuff so yeah it is you know it is it's a lot different than than our lives you know so, but at the end of the day, they are still people and, you know, they break down, they have normal things, so we can't knock them for it, you know? And another thing is we can't be glorifying them like they gods too. I hate that. Like, you know, people be like, oh my God, like I like people and I love them. Like, you know, but y'all be like on some other stuff sometimes. Like, you know, they, right. it's like, you know, you can't, oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, Yeah. Yeah. yeah don't don't worship false images i think i think is the commandment that's the command the, the, you're right correct yeah that's exactly where i was going at it's like you know you can like them and you know and love them and you know whatever but there's a line between you know nowadays we glorify them too much you know and make mm -hmm. them and that's why i guess we forget sometimes that they're humans you know because of how much mm -hmm. glorifying we do to them I don't know if you saw the Whitney Houston documentary that they did last year. Well, um, they did a lot, a lot of like behind the scenes stuff and she would leave the stage and she doesn't look happy. And you know, I was about to say, there's a lot of them in that time. And, and I was going to let going back to Brittany again, when Brittany was going through whatever Brittany was going through that we had nothing, we didn't know nothing about remember. And then she was going on stage doing all these tours and all of this, putting on a smile. So we don't know what these people are going through. Now, sometimes they're stuck in a record contract, you know, and you know, we, we in life don't have these deals that we're, abide we're we're forced to abide by you know if you don't like a job you can quit if you don't want to do this you can stop you know what i mean celebrities sometimes don't have that option you know unless they you know go bury themselves under a rock and you know don't want to be a celebrity anymore but if you step into that light to become a celebrity and you cross that line then that's something that you have to deal with you know unfortunately and it sucks it really really sucks because we're hardcore but I do believe that we used to be a lot worse, you know, because like, for instance, yeah. those days, you know, the Britney days with the paparazzis and the stuff like that, you know, where, you know, now they have laws to protect the celebrities before they didn't have that, you know. So, you know, it. I do believe that it's gotten better, but, you know, it's still, you know, crazy. So your middle name is Achilles. No, Achilles is my stage name. My my name is. Stage name. I'm sorry. I I, thought, I I meant to say that. So obviously we know the story of Achilles and his Achilles heel. Um, what would you say is your Achilles heel? What would I say to it? What what, what would you say is yours? Oh, what would... girl, I misunderstood that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you wanted me to talk to my ankle, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my biggest weakness, <laughs> I would say, would be. <laughs> uh, <laughs> can we say it on Instagram? <laughs> no, I just say it. no. Uh, my um, no, my biggest weakness would be. I don't know. That's a good question. I don't really. Um, I mean, we all have things that we're. You know, I just. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I. You know, we all have our weaknesses for everything, but I don't. You know, I try to like do, you know, whatever challenge I have, I try to do it. You know, even if I screw up on it, if that makes sense, or I mess up yeah. or not do as good as I thought, maybe I can learn from it or something like that. But I guess maybe it would be, I don't know. I don't know. That's a good one. I, I'm going to have to hold that thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, um, talk to us about your reality star dreams. Oh, well, I actually am uh, just, you, you mean about what just happened? So, okay, mm -hmm. so I just went on a, I just signed up for a reality show and I've actually done this before. And um, I got my first time going into signing up for a reality show. I made it to like the part where they, right before they started filming the show and I lit it, they started taking pictures of me and everything. I actually thought I was going to make it on the show and everything. So like when I didn't make it on the show, it kind of like screwed me up because, you know, it, you know, I was really, really, you know, my mind set into that. Um, very recently, I signed up for another reality show for content creators online, and I've gotten to the next process of the elimination, which is now a voting process that um, you guys, everybody will be able to do on March 8th, I want to say it is. 
And um, <clears throat> it's a voting process that will, um, it's an online voting process for people to vote online um, according to their different tier. They're going to have three different tiers, like some people who have a lot, a lot of following, people who have like, you know, so, so middle following, and then the people who don't have that many following. So in those three different tiers, so it can be fair to everyone, you know, so we're, you know, not everybody's fighting with people who have like millions of followers, you know. Yeah, I can hear you. Sorry, some, you know, that was Casey. Anyway, <laughs> so the online voting was for, um, is for, for, for me to get, they're picking 20 people to make it to the next um, round, to actually make it to the show. So the online voting is um, going to go online, and out of those people that get chosen, 20 will make it to the show. So hopefully... You know, not hopefully we are manifesting. I will make it to this show. I will be on this reality yeah. show. So y'all vote for me. Okay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, John. So tell us where we can like you, stalk you, follow you, all that fun stuff. All okay. right. Achilles is my stage name is the name that I use on all social media. So um, the, it is on I am Achilles or team Achilles. But if you actually put the name Achilles on any social media, A-K-Y-L-I-S, you can find me. You can Google that name and it, uh, it belongs to moi. I did that on purpose. <laughs> so, um, so you can find me pretty much anywhere. And um, my um, my biggest where I made mo most of my videos and everything I did, and where I have my biggest following is TikTok. But I do, I try to make all my social media is different because you know they are different. So I try to, you know, different depending on you know what kind of social media it is. I I tend to do things differently. So if you follow me on all my social medias, you're gonna get a different taste of everything. Okay, so so go to all my social medias and follow me so you can see all. The, like for instance, I just did a video on on Instagram showing them how to make my outfit for my costume gala for for my Magicon, and I didn't show them the fabric, but I made a YouTube video that I posted on my. YouTube video that actually shows the actual fabric. So if you follow me on YouTube, you'll be able to actually see the fabric. People on Instagram have not even seen it. You know what I mean? They're waiting until the day of our magic on. So I try to do that on purpose. So you can follow me everywhere. You got to follow me everywhere. <laughs> and then last question, then I'll let you go. Um, oh, this was fun, girl. Yay! <laughs> Thank you for coming on, by the way. <laughs> Um, so you talk very often about how much you love your mom and how you're so grateful for her. What would you say is the biggest life lesson that you got you that you got from her? Oh my god, the biggest life lesson would be to first of all don't I, she, a lot of lessons. Um you know I'm very vocal. So if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. Okay? Huge because I tend to, you know, and then, oh my God, I shouldn't have said that, you know? And then, um, big one that I live by is, um, don't worry about what anybody has to think of you because, um, everybody has an opinion of you. It might be a good one. It might be a bad one, but everybody is going to have an opinion of you. So do not worry about what your opinion is because they're not paying your bills. Okay. So, and I, she told me that ever since I was little, and that was one thing that really, really stuck to me. And I don't think I would be the way that I am if I, you know, like my social media presence, my, my videos, my, the, my craziness, I wouldn't be like that if I was worried about what other people thought about me you know what i mean because people sometimes yeah. hold back to even speak because they're afraid of what others would think or whatever and i have absolutely no care in the world because i mean granted i want you know i want to be loved by everybody but i know i'm an yeah. acquired taste and i know that i'm not for everybody and i respect it if you can't handle me that's cool you know i'm not gonna like try to overdose you on me you know what i mean but um, you understand but but at the same time i feel like the, and, and then my comedy has gotten better by not caring what people think. You understand what I mean? Because, like, mm -hmm. for instance, me being a man, um, some of my comedy, I, I, you know, when I portray women, I'll wear a wig to, you know, to bring the comedy out or to get the point across. And then I don't want to be a woman, you know, at all. I'm just doing this for the art's sake. Some guys won't even put on a wig, especially be filmed in a wig. You understand what I mean? So my comedy has gotten to a my comedy, my video making, my everything has 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 no filter and has nothing because I don't worry about what everybody thinks. If I like it and I think it's funny, I'm going to put it, you know, I'm going to put it out there and I'm going to say, mind you, I'm going to be respectful and, you know, whatever. And if I don't have nothing nice to say, I ain't going to say it. But, you know, 
I don't worry about what say people saying that. Mommy taught me all of that. <laughs> You're so awesome. Thank you so much for talking to me. Um, oh. Got to put the hitter blockers on yeah. and go to work now. <laughs> Girl, thank you for having me. This was so much fun. We need to do this again Yay. like a million times. I'm so with okay. you. Super. I'm so down. Yeah. I'm so down. <laughs> All right. Wait, is it? Ninjas, aren't you at work? We're not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when you're, what if you say it's called it to sell your soul when you're right to a concert my friends, some artists are stuck and want to get out. See? Exactly. We're right. Yeah. It's, it's very it's true. true. Right, That's I'll exactly talk. what I was talking about. Exactly. All right. I'll talk to you later. Boo. Thank you so much. Y'all have a good day. Bye. <laughs>